So I'm not the only one to notice this, but I know I notice it more acutely than most people. Um, just because I'm watching for it. No one else is watching for this. Um, you tend to promote stuff that you get for free or, you know, you get free trips and travel out of. I notice one thing, especially on YouTube and also online. Uh, one really important place recently. Actually, more than one place. Uh, I better not name them. Uh, they're huge internet sites and also a couple, couple few YouTube channels have uh, taken Fujifilm and actually dismissed them. Um, I noticed that, obviously, I don't have any money. You know, why am I like the top 20 YouTube photography channels or whatever I am, something like that? Why am I the only one to own the GFX? You know, obviously some of those top 10 channels have a lot of money. You know, you think they would at least rent it. No. Um, there's actually a lot going on here. There are certain companies and various products that know that they rely on their reputation uh, for excellence uh, to sell their products. Um, the people that actually use the stuff like this is the real deal. And uh, they don't uh, pander to uh, and cater to uh, talking heads. Um, I don't think I am one because nobody's sponsoring me. I'm not paid to do any review, and I'm certainly not getting any free gear. I did get a free hat from Fujifilm, however. <laughs> I'm sure that's going to sway me big time. Um, I noticed specifically some YouTube channels, and three of the largest photography uh, spaces on the Internet have actually uh, crap-talked not only the X-T2 and the... If it, you know, if a camera doesn't, you know, make it, that's fine. It's like, well, you just like a camera. You don't want to hear bad news. No, that's not it. I should not be the only person out of the top 20. People that have a lot more money than me. You know, all they have to do is just call someone up. It's like, yeah, 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 I'm going to mention your camera store or your rental place. Like, send me, like, the GFX for a week. Yeah, 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 send it right now. You know, they make money off of reviews and the hits that they get. You think that they, but no, they don't. They don't do that. You know, it is medium format. There's not really any competition out there. The Mamiya Leaf isn't competition, nor is the Pentax 645. They're not real competition. They're not even reviewing those cameras either. Because um, those cameras are also not giving them anything. Um, I'm a person as a, a Greek philosopher, ancient Greek monist, um, I pay more attention oftentimes to what people don't say than what they do say. Other people only listen to what people say. Well, he said, she, no, I'm, I'm interested in what you didn't say. Like, if you talk to someone long enough, if you're really, really smart, you won't listen to what the hell they're talking about. You'll listen to what the hell they avoid talking about. And uh, I've seen a lot of people that uh, have dismissed Fuji outright. Um, in a very absurd fashion. Some of the photography channels, too, that'll do big, long reviews on uh, all sorts of cameras, but when a new Fuji comes along, it's like, yeah, here it is, we mess with it. Next! And it's like, wow, that was, your, that was your video review of this extremely important camera? Without mentioning any names? That says a lot. Um, other people have actually been talking about this, not on uh, YouTube talking heads, but on some of the really large websites, one of them does lots of reviews, and they have an insane. They're supposed to be. They have you have to pay for a subscription to the website. I won't say which it is. It's like a hundred and fifty dollars a year to subscribe. They got like six different zones, and each one is like a hundred dollars or hundred and fifty bucks. And I've never seen so much trash talking on the GFX. Absolute nonsense talk. But like, well, if it's valid criticism, it's valid. But there's nobody else anywhere even talking about what these people are talking about. Nobody! Um, so there is something afoot there. It's not a conspiracy. I mean, it's it's an undeniable fact. And I think it's a Fuji, you know, doesn't really care. I mean, they're kind of like Porsche and Lamborghini and some of these other... I'm not saying that's exactly what they are, but I mean, they just, they just don't give a damn. You know, they don't need to advertise. Like, we're going to make a superior product. We're going to lay it in front of you. And then it's going to scream on its own. We're not going to, like... Push it on people, give free rentals, 
when they do to some pros. I mean, they do do that, but not many. But they're not pushing themselves. They're like, hey, we're going to fly you out to so-and-so to do this. And they're not doing that. And uh, I'm glad they're doing not doing that. I don't know if they actually don't have the budget for that. I don't think that that's actually it. But uh, I've noticed this trend across several different platforms with YouTube, the Internet, and definitely three of the top five uh, photography places for a discussion and uh, places that do uh, serious reviews on new cameras. Um, one of them basically said that the GFX is no better than an FX. The one that people really bitch about, and it's on a major website, is something like, do you really need a, a mirrorless camera? I mean, a, a medium format, excuse me, a medium format camera? And it basically sums up to saying that, really, you know, it's no better than... <laughs> Really, it's no better than, like, uh, you know, a full frame. Like, are you kidding me? There's not even any comparison. Because they leave out really important stuff, like enlargement and micro contrast. I mean, wow, the picture is just, there is no comparison. The multiplicative, better. It's not 1.7 times better because it's 1.7 times larger than an FX sensor. So the totality of what it is and the images that are output from that camera are incredible. So, just be wary of uh, all, not all, but most of the top camera and gear review sites, they do a deferential disservice to Fujifilm reviews and new gear. I notice that. I really, really do notice that. And I have no affiliation with Fujifilm. I mean, they don't give me anything except for a free hat over there. <laughs> I don't think that counts. I don't think I could be bought with a free free hat. I can, however, be bought in cameras that I buy that have superior quality and uh, customer service and build quality, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, I don't know if you noticed it as well, but I certainly have noticed it. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm insanely tired, as is well evidenced. Thank you for watching, and good night. I cut that finger. It's hard to snap my fingers now. Bum 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 b